Good evening, everyone. Welcome again to another edition of Ask the Coach. Here with us today, we have Chris from Bradford Consulting. Hello, Chris. Good evening. Hi. Nice so, to be here. You can see uh, Bellany is not here today, but today's show will be focusing on what is a uh, business coaching and we have Chris to explain everything and yes uh, you can no listen. pressure no pressure yes um, but we will be learning a lot uh, about business coaching today and uh, please uh, enjoy the show and the conversation we'll be having okay good to be here yes uh, could you start with what is a uh, business uh, coaching <laughs> right um, before I, before I say what it is, I think it's really important timing to be talking about these things. As you know, all the way through this series, we've been doing the countdown to the borders opening. Yes. So we've got a week to go. Yes, thank um, you. <laughs> Are you and, excited? Well, it's interesting because it feels like it's been talked about for two years. It's quite a long time to keep excitement going. Right. Yes. Um, and I'm not convinced that we're actually going to see anything dramatic happen straight away, yeah? mm. um, but it feels different, yeah? but you've got to remember that these, this pandemic is still around as well, yeah? so yes, exciting, I mean like anything, there's opportunities, yeah? so the whole thing about discussing coaching is really important now, because I think over the next few months is where people are going to need support. Okay, so back to your question. Um, when people ask them, obviously people ask me, they ask me two questions. What is business coaching and how does coaching differ from things like training and mentoring? Um, I normally start by describing, people understand coaching in terms of sport. And most people will know what a football coach is, because they've seen one, or a netball coach, or a volleyball coach. Yeah? Um, and when you think about a sports coach, you think about somebody coaching netball, they're doing two things. They're coaching the people in the skills. So, you know, somebody new um, is learning netball, they're being coached on how to dribble the ball and how to shoot and how to pass and all of those things. So they're what I call the technical skills, which they're coaching on, yeah? What they're also coaching in sport is on what I would call the soft skills, the behaviors, teamwork. You know, working together, your emotional attitudes towards a game, getting yourself hyped up to when you're going to play in the World Cup. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. And that's what sports coaches do. Yes. So basically, if you think about it, that's what business coaches do. Um, that's the, it's, a, it's the same thing in the business coaches, if you take someone like Bellini, who's normally here on this program with me, she's a technical coach in financial terms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, She um, has a lot of financial skills mm -hmm. and it's one area that all small businesses need help in. Mm -hmm. yeah? um, understanding profit, understanding financial management. So she would coach in that area. Um, my skills are around what I call the soft skills. Planning, leadership, behaviours. Um, the common word of the moment is sustainability. You know, how do you keep going through the middle of a pandemic? Uh, resilience, how do you come back after a cyclone? Mm -hmm. So, there's a lot of similarities, yeah? Typically on a sports coach, you don't see the coach playing the game. Typically the yes. coach will be coaching the team and what you'll see is when the team are playing, the coach is on the side shouting and jumping up and down and getting excited, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the business coach is very similar. Um, I've been a business coach for too many years to put a number on it. Mm -hmm. um, and I've coached lots and lots of businesses who, and I don't know that much about their business, but what I do know is about business generally. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, I'm not a builder, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a handicraft person, but I know all those that businesses have got lots of things in common. So the coach's job is, is partly about passing on skills and it's about empowering people. 
so that when that sports team go on the field, they feel really good and they go on the field with a mental attitude they're going to win. So when we're talking about small businesses getting ready for the borders only, um, our role as coaches is to help them get the mental attitude that they're going to win. Mm. You know, that they're going to bounce back, that they're going to bounce back even stronger than they were before COVID came along. Okay. Because for me, that's the only attitude that's worth having really. And I think that's what coaching is all about. That's the, that's, and I'll talk a little bit more if you like about how we do it, but that's what we do. Thank you for that. Um, that was a long answer, sorry. It's okay. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's clear. And uh, comparing it to uh, sports uh, makes it a lot more, um, I guess, digestible for somebody who's new to business coaching. Yeah. So let's talk about um, access. Um, here in Vanuatu, business coaching, as you know, it's not that common. Right? No, it's not. To get access to it and to look for it. Um, how do you, is it at B-Lab, how do, you, how do we get in contact to business coaches? Okay, um, maybe a, a, again going back a little bit as well, most people probably have had someone to talk to in their life. Yes. Yeah? Yes. We may have called those people our mum and dad or a favourite uncle or auntie yes. or someone, yeah? And in lots of ways that's what they were, they were coaches, yes. but no one ever had that label. Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Um, and so we are putting a label on something mm -hmm. um, that is not uncommon to people, mm -hmm. but we don't think about it in terms of coaching. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I've been involved in business coaching for a long, long, long time. Um, been living here, I've been working in Vanuatu for over 10 years, mm -hmm. living here for five. Um, and my role in, with VLab, mm -hmm. and VLab is about helping entrepreneurs and helping people develop business ideas. Mm -hmm. Within VLab, we are developing a whole team of new Vanuatu coaches, mm -hmm. and that's my job. Okay. My job is to train the team. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to have the best coaching team in the Pacific. Mm -hmm. um, they are a mixture of uh, male and female. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing about the team, and we're working with about 15 people at the moment, mm -hmm. is that none of them are chosen because they've got an academic background in coaching. Oh. They're all chosen because they have either run businesses or are running businesses themselves, mm -hmm. um, or they've got senior management roles in organizations. Because you think about it, you actually, why would you want the coach that's got a degree in coaching? What you want is a coach who's done it. Yeah? With experience. Yes. yes. You want a coach who's done it. They fail. I mean, one of the things about being an entrepreneur is dealing with failure. Mm. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, I mean, I know that entrepreneurs will keep going, but business ideas will come and go all the time. Yes. yes. Uh, they always will. Um, we, have to, we have to learn to deal with that. Mm. So that's one thing that we're building um, through B-Lab, and we, we're calling it the Business Nakama. Oh, okay. And it's, it's a brand name around Vila, but part of that is to have a team of Nivanuatu coaches. Do you have a page for that, Business Nakama? Uh, did you ask? Yes. Yes, I think so. Okay, we'll look for <laughs> it. But certainly Vila, we get to look for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Indeed. Um, and if people are interested, I mean, there's two things here. One is interested in being a coach, mm -hmm. and the other is interested in being coached. Yes. Yeah? Um, just finishing up on, on the coaches themselves, um, we're preparing them around a set of international competencies. Okay. So we're not just making this stuff up here mm. as a sort of low level within Vanuatu. I mean, my goal is that we really do end up with the best coaching team in the Pacific. So we're using something called the, Inter it's the International Coaching Federation, um, and there's a set of behaviors mm -hmm that basically are seen internationally as making good coaches. Mm -hmm. It's about people's ethics, about people, the way people communicate. Mm -hmm. um, it's about respect and cross-gender and inclusion. Yes. Um, a coach has to be a really good communicator, yes. Yes. not just doing what I'm doing, but no. actually using yes. their ears, doing what you're doing. Yes. Yeah? Um, 
So I think that's quite important for people watching this, uh, is that we're really serious here about developing a high quality mm. group. And part of my vision is that we end up sending the Vanuatu coaches out to coach other people in the Pacific. Wow. And to help them get qualifications, if they want. If they want, yes. As business coaches, yes. Mm. I, um, so that, that, that's one area. The other area we've done is developed our own coaching skills handbook. Mm -hmm. Um, so again, it, it's yes, yeah, it's a it's a draft. So it's still in draft form, um, but basically within here is a whole host of um, activities around um, what it takes to be a good coach. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Um, but also what coaching has to focus on. Uh, how do you deal with? Um, emotions, mm -hmm. you know, and coaching isn't all um, always positive. Yeah? People yes. get upset, yes. especially at the moment. Yes. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of people out there who don't have very much money. So, what we can't do as a coach is come along and say everything will be okay. Yes, we can. Because I have no idea whether it will be okay. Mm -hmm. yeah? All we can do is encourage people to do the best. Mm -hmm. So. Part of the reason for saying all this is, is I think I want people to get a real understanding here that we're trying to build up a really good, professional, well-qualified team. Mm. But they all come from a practical background mm. of trying to run their own businesses. Yes. On the coaching side, then, they can expect people who will not tell them what to do. Mm -hmm. They're not their mum or dad, or their employer, mm -hmm. or their boss. Mm -hmm. What they will do is encourage people. Mm. So, can I give an example? Yes. So, not so long ago, I was coaching to someone who was quite frightened about going to the bank. They needed to go to the bank okay, okay. to set up a bank account, and not everyone likes talking to bank managers. Mm. Um, and this person said to me, "Well, come with me." Mm -hmm. And um, I said, "No. What I'll do." is I'll meet you before you go and I'll sit in the coffee shop while you're there mm -hmm. and when you come back, come straight back to the coffee shop and tell me how it went. Okay. You see, it would be very easy for me as the coach to say, yeah, I'll come with you. Mm -hmm. Imagine what would have happened then. If I had gone with the person, the bank manager would probably have talked to me yes, yes. and would the person have been able to do it themselves next time? No. Probably not. So that's the role of the coach. Okay. Yeah? Okay. It, you know, it is, it did, I mean, the jargon word is about empowerment, mm -hmm. but it is about being able to encourage people. We've got to help people learn. Yes. Yeah? So I use this term, tough love. Sometimes I come across quite tough yes. to people, you know, because it's really easy to give in and say, yeah, I'll come to the bank with you. Yeah, it's oh, easy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Um, and that makes me feel good and I feel a nice, kind person. Mm -hmm. But it does not help the person nice. being coached because yes. next time they need to do it themselves. Mm. And now they can because they come back and they feel, they say, oh, I was really nervous. Um, but how did it go? I've got my loan. I accomplished it. Accomplished yes. on their own. Yes. And that's really what coaching is about. Okay. Yeah? Yes. And I would, I, my, my pet vision is to see coaches in all walks of life. Mm -hmm. I like to see our politicians coached. I like to see people running big companies coached mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, because coaching doesn't stop just when you get a little bit older or you get a little more, more knowledge I and mean, where life's about learning. Mm. That makes sense? Yes. Do you agree? Yes. So that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> so um, as I questioned before, if people want to see you, they just go to B Lab. So they go to B Lab. I mean, I think probably running across the screen will be contact yes. for me and Bellini. Yes. So I run a, a um, private coaching business. Mm -hmm. The way I work is that anybody can come and have one session with me free. Free. Anybody okay. free. Um, it will be an hour. If they want more coaching after that, um, what I do at the end of that hour is I send them an email which outlines what I think they need and how I think I can help them and that will have a price on it mm -hmm. and they will pay. Mm. Fellini works in a similar way I think. Okay. At VLab we have this mixture. We have programs that are financed by donors mm -hmm. 
So the moment we're just recruiting people um, on this seasonal work program, mm -hmm. um, but we're also the business Nakamail program mm -hmm. will be people paying. Mm -hmm. um, and the team that I mentioned, the coaching team, we're going to start to run monthly clinics, just like going to the doctors. Okay, okay. You know? Um, and if you feel you need to go and talk to somebody about your cash flow, or you need to talk to someone about um, your employment practices or your planning, can come and talk to us. Okay. Yeah, because people don't necessarily all need months and months of this. Yes. Uh, for a lot of people, they've got an instant issue and they need to get it sorted. Mm. So VLAB, Breadfruit Consulting, through Bellini's organization, and I think the details are all on the screen. Um, I mean, at VLAB, we're at the top floor of Longham House. People can come anytime, daytime. Just come and come and ask for me. Come and introduce themselves. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, another question is: We all know. I mean, Max is vetting uh, you as a business coach. We love you. <laughs> but how can people know that a business coach is a good business coach? How can they judge that? Right. I think that's a very that's a really good question. Mm -hmm. This is why we as a team are working both on the handbook and the competencies. Okay. Now they on their own don't necessarily answer that question, yes. but they go a long way. Okay. Yeah? The other thing though that's important is the way that we're operating in this team is mm -hmm. each coach is being coached by me. Okay. So no coach is on their own. Right. Yeah? So I'm actually going to be observing them work. So this might sound really heavy in lots of ways, but actually we, I mean, you know, when someone gives you advice on something, mm -hmm. if you imagine running a business and someone gives you some advice and that might affect the way you use your time or your money or your house, mm -hmm. that's a big issue, isn't it? Yep. And you don't want to get that wrong, yeah? Yes. And you don't want, to, you don't want someone, some amateur to be giving you true, true. advice. So we're doing the best we can um, and that's why we put a lot of effort into training the team. Mm -hmm. I spent all year developing the team. We meet re regularly. Last week we had a session which was talking around their emotions mm -hmm. and how you relate to different people. You know, if you're coaching an older person or a younger person mm -hmm. or male or female, you'll have different issues. Mm -hmm. you know? Um, within Vanuatu, people know each other, don't they? Yes. yes. And, they have, and, and we have views about where people come from and, and so on. Yes. So, so it's a very, very good question. And the, the, other, the other thing I would say is that if anyone ever has any concerns, they have to come and talk to us. Okay. Now, how do they know themselves if right now I need a business coach? That's also a good question. Which is why, in lots of ways, I, I offer the, the, the approach with the free session. Okay. Because the free session means that you don't have to make any decision. Okay, okay. Apart from give up an hour of your time and come and sit and talk to me in Jungle Cafe right. or wherever. Yes. Yeah? So that's actually not a difficult thing to do. Mm -hmm. yeah? um, and because you may not know. Mm -hmm. And what you may know is that you started a business. You know there are things called cash flows or business plans or marketing plans. Mm -hmm. You've never actually done it. Yes. So the chances are probably you could end a little bit of advice with someone, not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But also it's like a relationship, isn't it? Yes. Um, and coaching on uh, not all coaching is one on one. And sports coaches will coach individual ath athletes or they coach a team. Mm -hmm. Most business coaching is one on one. Okay. There are occasions when you might have a small group, you know, like if a family business, I might coach the family, mm -hmm. but most of it is one-on-one, -on -one, yeah? Okay. So, and it's like any relationship, we have to get on. We have to trust each other, have to feel that there's a level of respect. Okay, okay. You know, and again, one of the reasons we've got a team of 15 coaches is that, you know, sometimes you've got to vary the mix, yeah? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't fit with one coach. Absolutely. Yeah. And that doesn't make anybody wrong or anybody bad. It's just a fit. It's just like when people <laughs> create relationships with yes, each other. Yes. We don't all fit with everybody. Yeah? Mm. So, so what, I, what I would say to people is take advantage of the free session. Mm -hmm. 
Um, if you can get on to some of the VLAB programs, which will always be a mixture of training and coaching, mm -hmm. that's the way we operate everything. That gives you a really good opportunity to see different people at work. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, last question: How long does a coaching last? Um, your relationships with your clients, or you call them your clients? Yeah. Yes. How long does it last? Clients, you friends, say? participants. Yeah, I call them clients. Okay. Yeah. There are a range of words that that go around all this stuff. I mean, we're familiar with training. Mm -hmm. Training tends to be about you going somewhere to receive some knowledge. Mm -hmm. yeah? uh, 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 we've talked a little about coaching. Mm -hmm. The word counseling comes into this, which would tend to be the more therapeutic side mm -hmm. uh, of, you know, somebody needs, uh, there's a term called life coaching, okay, yes. which, is, which is more about how am I living my life. Mm. And, um, and then there's a term mentoring. So mentoring and coaching tend to be both about support and helping people. Mm. Mentoring tends to be a long term someone to talk to, shoulder to cry on, you know, <laughs> someone so I've had a mentor for years. They're not here, but I, I pick up the, the, the Zoom and we talk. Yeah? Mm. Coaching, um, the way I operate it is to say to people, don't commit to more than say six sessions. Mm -hmm. No, um, create a plan at the beginning, mm -hmm. set some goals. Um, not me as a coach setting goals, I, mean, I will work with them in the first session to help them set the goals. Okay. But set some goals, work on a plan at the end of the six weeks or the six sessions and normally I wouldn't, want, I wouldn't suggest people do it more frequently than once a week. Okay. Sometimes once a week, sometimes once a fortnight, mm -hmm. but at the end of the six sessions step back and review what you've done. Okay. It could be that you've still got things to learn, but it could be that having six month break, so you put in place what you've learned, yes, yes. is the best thing to do, and then you come back to your coach six months later. Mm. So these things are all you don't know until you're exploring it, yeah? Okay, yes. Which is why I think the clients need to know that they will be treated fairly and honestly, um, and one of the things we do in these competencies with the coaching team is talk an awful lot about how you run a session. How do you help people set up goals? Yes, yes. There's no point in me telling you what goals you should have. Yes. Yeah, because otherwise they're mine, not yours. True, yeah? true. But I can help you create your own. And that's a coaching skill. You can even help them uh, create uh, better goals, right? Than the ones in yeah. And just explore, explore, and we talk a lot about what a goal is. Yeah? Goal is some personal vision. Yeah? I mean, I will always encourage people to have a personal plan in their, in their minds. Yeah? Yes. You know, a personal vision, a personal just somewhere where they're aiming for. Mm -hmm. You know, if they're parents of kids, they'll have a vision which probably includes their family. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, you know. Covid has been quite challenging for a lot of people because it's created a lot of negativity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, um, and I think for a lot of people they've stopped thinking ahead. Mm. But actually, I mean, we probably need to do that more now than we did at the beginning because yes. uh, we don't know where it's going to lead us. So. True, true, true. So, uh, so my approach as a coach is is about encouraging confidence. Mm -hmm. It's encouraging people to plan to have a plan for themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, and, you know, if someone says, well, I'd love to do this, but I haven't got any money, mm -hmm. so, okay, let's split those two things out, yeah? Mm -hmm. This is what you'd love to do. Now, what have you got? It's very easy to go down the route and say, I haven't got something. Yes. But what do you have, yeah? Maybe you've got your health. Maybe you own some land. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you've got a healthy family around you, yeah? Perhaps you've got um, the ability to get a part-time job. Mm -hmm. And you start adding things up. And you suddenly realize, well, okay, I don't have lots of money, but I've got all these other things. Yes, yes. But again, as a coach, it's no point in me identifying all this stuff. I've got to help the people being coached to do it. Okay. Because it's, they, I won't live with them. They've got to carry on <laughs> and do it themselves. Yes, yes. 
I think, uh, is there anything else you would like the audience to know about business coaching in general? Maybe an announcement you'd like to make? Oh, that's a bit. Put me on the spot. <laughs> well, I, I, think, I mean, the first thing is people can contact us as quickly as they want. Okay. Um, and if someone wants a free session tomorrow, they can contact me and get it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and as I said earlier on, the free session doesn't commit anyone to anything. Mm. Uh, if they don't like the idea, if they feel that they're not going to have the right fit, if it doesn't they feel that it's not what they want, no problem. No problem. You know, okay. I think the only announcement I would I would say is, and I think I've said this before, none of us, I don't think anybody in this world reaches their goals on their own. Mm. We all have somebody that helps us. Um, and a coach is just one of those people. Um, and business coach may not be for everybody, mm -hmm. uh, but getting support and help probably is required by us all. As long as we, as long as it comes in a respectful, trusting relationship. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's been cool to talk. <laughs> Sorry, I've done all the talking. It's. I mean, we needed to hear all that. Uh, thank you. Uh, Everybody, this is another Espresso Live session for Ask the Coach. Here, uh, Chris from Redford Consulting. You heard it from him. If ever you need business coaching, we heard today what business coaching is. Um, please don't hesitate to contact him. We have his contacts running below. We also have Bellany's contact running below for if you need any help with finance. And you will see another session again next week, uh, Thursday, 6 p.m., same time. So, yes, thank you again, Chris. You're welcome, man. Next week, of course, is when the borders open. We're all excited all the day. for that. Yes, <laughs> right on the day. So, be sure, uh, stay in tune for another, another session. And uh, goodbye. Have, enjoy your night. Good night. Thank you very much, Sonia. Thank you.